welcome back to another video. You might not believe it, but this right here is a double person swag. Today we're going to run through our new Dometic two person swag, um, how to set it up and how to pack it down. Hey guys, so here we've got the Dometic two person inflatable swag. So as you can see, it comes in a quite compact uh, little carry bag. Uh, they've also designed it to be able to go on hikes and take around with you easily as a backpack design and it's waterproof. Uh, it comes in at about 11 kilos, so obviously you can wear it as a backpack, it's not too heavy, and it's also great for putting in the car and whatnot. The great thing about it too is that it's so compact and small. Uh, traditionally, your big swags, they take up half the ute, um, and you just can't fit them inside a car. So this one comes in at about 750 mil long by 350 mil wide, and about 300 tall. So quite easily, you can fit it anywhere. And um, yeah, we'll show you how to set it up. All right, so inside the pack here, we have the dramatic pump. Um, we've got a little repair kit. We have your instruction manual, we've got pegs, and then two little poles for the outside awning. Hey guys, so we've set up the pump now, which is quite a quick little setup. And what we do now, we've folded out the, the swag, um, We've got to peg each corner and then we're going to blow it up with our pump. So down here, uh, there's two different valves. There's one here, which are for the air poles for the tent, which pop up the outside shell. And these are quite a clever design as they have a two way kind of connection. So when you screw that in, that keeps the air in. And when you pump up, um, it doesn't need a button to be pressed when you get your pump off so it won't let air out until you unscrew that. And then we've also got another one here for the mattress. So it's actually an air mattress as well. Uh, for the tent, they recommend it in the green on the pump, which is between seven to nine PSI. And for the mattress, the maximum is two PSI. So we're gonna get that set up now and I'll show you how we do it. And it's only pumping up air on the down push as well, guys. And here it comes. Okay, so that's about eight PSI. Um, so yeah, you can just, as Lucky said, look in here at the little gauge and it will be in between the green. Um, so that's the swag pumped up and now we just need to do the mattress. Okay, so now it's time to pump up the mattress and remember don't go past two. There's big warning signs everywhere for this, so. So that's on one PSI. Okay, and that's about two. So you guys can see just how quick and easy. It's under 30 seconds and we've got the whole tent pumped up and inflated. All right, so the mattress is 2150 by 1400. Um, it comes, if you have a look, it comes right up to the corners of the inflatable poles. Um, you can also pull these out easily 
and replace the mattress with another inflatable one if you would like. We actually haven't tested this swag out yet for a long period of time, so we're not too sure at the minute. We're happy to just keep it as it is. Um, and yeah, I'll get lucky to show you some more about the inside. So I'm in the swag now, and as you can see, there's heaps of room. I'm six foot two, and there's heaps of room above my head and at my feet. So it's the same size as our rooftop tent. And uh, the thing I also like about this uh, swag is that it has a quite a high roof. So you're not quite claustrophobic and it also kind of goes out on more of an angle than your traditional swag. So yeah, it feels quite spacious in here. Okay, so for inside, you've got a pocket at either end and you've got a hook up here for a light or whatever it may be. You've also got some Velcro kind of stitching along, which could lead to outside if you maybe want to run like a charging lead or something like that in here. Um, we've also got a window on either end, so that you're heading at your feet, uh, as well as the main entrance. And we've also got these poles, which are the air poles, um, but you've got zippers along them, which you can access it and uh, repair it if you may need to. All right, so on each window we have these little extra awnings um, so basically we have the guide ropes um, which you peg out and then the awning comes out like this this is obviously to just protect you if it is raining or whatnot um, and you can still have your windows open and getting ventilation into the swag okay so the Dometic two-person uh, pop-up swag comes with uh, a weatherproof front which most swags have but it also acts as an awning now this is great if you want to uh, keep the rain and the weather out and also if you want to put your shoes or a bag outside of the swag but want to have it under cover. So pretty much it comes out like so, we'll set it up in a minute. But you get two poles to uh, pop it out with some guide ropes and pegs. So we'll set it up now and show you what it looks like. quite a nice idea you can also drop and raise the awning so if you want to drop it if it starts to pull with water you can do that as well uh, and just tension it off as you need okay so now we're going to pack it down pretty much this is how you'd have it most of the time if you did have the awning you can pack that down quite quickly but it's as easy as um, going down to your valve for your mattress uh, unscrewing the second kind of nozzle you'll hear the air start to come out and then all of a sudden the air will come out easy as that same for the the main frame uh, unwind that second uh, nozzle there you 
Bam. Now, the best way to do this is to fold it in on itself and to push it and roll it up from this end. Now, the reason for that is while you're rolling and pushing it up, the air will all go out. So what I like to do is I like to fold it all in, fold it all in half it, and then get back onto this end. And as simple as just rolling it up. And then you have two straps, which go around. Buckle in, tighten up. The other strap. And you can see, it packs up quite nicely, and we'll show you how it goes back in the bag. Okay, so we've packed it up now, rolled it up, and the big question is, does it fit back in the bag? Now, I know a lot of swags take up heaps of room, and also when you buy something really compact, it's a struggle. So, we've got the swag here. It goes back in the bag, like so, and fits, I'd say, fairly comfortably. Now what we can also do is uh, we've got the pump and a few other bits here, which some people may roll up into the swag, um, but I find that just a bit annoying and you don't need it to be rolled up in there. So what you can do is just shove it down the side here, all your little parts, your poles and your pegs too. And then we will uh, zip it up. And you can see, still a little bit of a play to get it in there, but you can see back as how it came and uh, ready to go for next time. Okay, so that's a wrap on the features, the setup and the pack down of the Dometic Pico 2x2 pop-up swag. Uh, as you can see, I did it as by myself. Monique can also do it by herself, so it's a quite an easy and simple setup and only takes a couple minutes. Um, so we've done one night in it, but we're going to be doing more. Yep, as always guys, we are going to do a review video on this later down the track. So keep your eyes peeled for that one in a few months time. We want to start doing a few more remote trips, so we'll let you know how it goes remote, um, any sort of problems we have with it. As for now, please, please, please put any comments down below if you have anything for us. And be sure to like, comment and subscribe if you like our content. Thanks guys.